Hi everybody. Today we're going to continue talking about fractions and our focus today is this question. What are mixed numbers and improper fractions? Now that's new for most third graders so let's dive in. So mixed numbers and improper fractions are related to each other. Mixed numbers and improper fractions are two different ways that you can show an amount that is more than one whole but it is less than two wholes. Now you still might be a little confused about that. So let's keep going. And I want you to imagine that you ate one whole cookie. And then you start to eat another cookie, but you're stuffed and you can't eat the whole thing. And so you only eat one half of the second cookie. That means that you ate one whole and one half of a cookie. That's called a mixed number. It means if it's a number with two parts, it has a whole number part and it has a fraction part. The whole number part shows how many holes there are. And then the fraction part shows how many fractions of another hole you had. So this means I had one whole and one half. And that's called a mixed number. And mixed numbers are related to something called improper fractions. So now I want you to think about this. What if you broke the cookies that you had in half? And you ate them all. Then you could say that you ate one, two, three halves. Three halves. That is an improper fraction. Now that's kind of unusual. We don't usually say we ate three halves. You would say that I ate a whole and a half, but you can say three halves. And what's unusual about this is an improper fraction is that the numerator, the number on the top, is bigger than the denominator, the number on the bottom. And so far, we've really only looked at fractions where the numerator is smaller than the denominator. So when you see that, that's called an improper fraction. And it means that you have more than one whole. So mixed numbers and improper fractions are related. So one and a half is the same as three halves. It's the same amount of cookies. So now we're going to listen to Annie and Moby, and we're going to learn about more about mixed numbers. You must be hungry, Moby. That's an enormous lunch. Are you really going to drink three and a half glasses of milk? What are fractions? A fraction is a number that shows parts of a whole. This cake has four equal parts. The number of parts are shown in a fraction's denominator. So the denominator, or bottom of the fraction, is four. One slice has a candle. And the numerator, or top of the fraction, is one. One-fourth of the slices have candles. Three-fourths of the slices do not have candles. Sometimes you count both whole items and parts of other items. What are mixed numbers? A mixed number is a number that shows both wholes and parts of a whole. You have only one whole apple, but you also have half an apple. Right, you have one and a half apples. To write a mixed number, you write the whole number first. Then you write the fraction right next to it. How many glasses of milk do you have? Let's see, you have one, two, three full glasses. You also have a half a glass. So you have three and a half glasses of milk. 
you can write this as a mixed number. Let's see. You have one, two, three, four sandwiches. And you also have about three-fourths of a sandwich. So you have four and three-fourths sandwiches. You can also write this with words. Four and three-fourths is the same as four and three-quarters. Wait a minute. Is that a hammer and newspaper sandwich? How many pies do you have? There are six whole pies. The last pie has one out of the five slices left, or one-fifth left. So you have six and one-fifth pies. Moby, did you just eat a sock pie? Was the sock clean? How many cartons of eggs do you have? There are five full cartons. The last carton has one out of six eggs, or one-sixth. So you have five and one-sixth cartons of eggs. What fraction of these rectangles is green? There are seven rectangles that are all green. The last rectangle is two-thirds green. So seven and two-thirds of the rectangles are green. Moby, what else are you going to eat? Stomach medicine. Okay, so let's keep moving. Now we're going to do some checkup to see if you understood and remembered what it means to look at an amount and be able to say it's mixed number amount. This, for example, the question says how much is shaded and I can look at this and I can say one whole and one fourth is shaded. One whole, you could pretend this is a brownie that sometimes helps, and one fourth. One and one fourth is shaded. I could also say that there are one, two, three, four, five fourths that are shaded. You're going to continue looking at pictures, and I want you to concentrate on telling what the mixed number would be the whole number plus the fraction number. How much is shaded? How much is shaded? How much is shaded? How much is shaded? How much of these three pentagons is shaded? How much is shaded? Remember that mixed numbers and improper fractions are used when you have whole amounts and a fraction amount. Mixed numbers are like one and a half, and improper fractions are like three halves. So we'll check out your scores and move on tomorrow.